what's up guys so we got this unit it's not running so first thing i notice is my circuit breaker on my transformer is trip so obviously i got a low voltage issue all right we got 211 here 211 here so we know we got high voltage so we're gonna reset this breaker and see what happens tripped right away so now i'm disconnecting the low voltage from the contactor just to make sure the contactor coil is not shorted out turn it back on gonna reset it and it popped right away so this tells me my issue is not coming from my contactor so when I remove this harness that controls the compressor contactor one on the terminal board, it doesn't trip. If I reattach this, turn on my disconnect. Tripped right away. All right, so now we're going to trace to see what's causing it. We're going to turn our meter to continuity. So I'm just going to do a continuity test of these pins because these pins is what tells the contactor to pull in. Just make sure they are grounded for real. And we go from there. So what I'm doing here, I'm removing the board just to inspect for any burn marks on the back because sometimes it do short out. So this is my meter to trace the low voltage short. Got one connected here and that's, that's the ground. That's just my way of doing it. I'm gonna use my other lead. I'm gonna start unplugging stuff and whenever it stops i know that's what's causing the shard so let's go here i got no shard to red but i'm getting a shard to yellow nothing on y2 nothing on w1 i got a shard on w2 no short on the blower. These are my low pressure switch. This is my high pressure switches. Gonna connect here. You hear my meter beeping. It's beeping. So let me remove one leg of my low pressure switch. No beep. Now there's no more beep on red or yellow. So it's beeping when I got the pressure switch connected. I took off the pressure switch, I get no beep. So if you check here from ground, I got a beep. My high pressure switch is beeping again. My low pressure switch, nothing nothing so we're gonna trace our high pressure switch to see if we could find where the shortage so this here is my high pressure switch the black wires it goes here and it goes all the way up in the unit all the way up there so we're gonna have to trace all that wire we're gonna search to see if we got a rub out somewhere
this is my high pressure switch right here right you see the wire is sitting up here oh wow right here I bet that's where it's rubbed out you can see it's sitting right there and the low pressure switch is by itself on this side so let's flip these wires Right here, this one, there it is, right there, that's where it rubbed out at. There's another one on the way to rub out too. Alright, so we could just put some tape on that. Basically, you could see where there was a zip tie that held it in place, but that's dry rotten now, so the wire fell and sitting right here on the evaporator and that's where the shortage came from so it's not all the way rubbed through so it, it'll be fine just to tape the wire I don't have to cut it and re-splice it because it didn't break the wire it just broke the insulation so let's just tape put some electrical tape on it There you have it guys, wires out the way, nice and secure, so let's recheck to make sure we're good now, so the black ones was the high pressure, no more beeping, we're good. All right, so no more short. Let's put it back together. Reset. Turn on the breaker. It is the unit just started schooling. So that's how I usually find a low voltage short. Please comment in the comment section, like and subscribe. See you again on the next video. Peace out.